Hello everyone, today I'm going to test the RC Concepts 5.8 GHz FPV combo with some interesting antennas. Basically the combo comprises a USB powered receiver unit and an FPV backpack to mount on your radio controlled aircraft. It uses a crowbar lift to transmit and a scale planner wheel to receive. This setup will easily give you clear video up to 250 meter with a 360 degree coverage which is quite good. However, if you want to go further and still keep that clear video image, a directional high gain antenna is required. I have three directional antennas here. The first one is from NG Hobbies and is a mass produced patch antenna. The gain chart in its data sheet states that it has a gain of 6 dB at the lower 5600 MHz and a gain of 4.5 dB at 5800 MHz. So you might want to use channel 5645 to get the best performance out of it. Interestingly, the design uses four circular patches. It's circular polarized because each patch has two corners removed to induce circularity. And they are crabbly matched to give a 50 ohms impedance at the feed. The other two here are crosshair antennas with a gain of 8.5 dB. This one with a nice white cover is a product of True RC, while the other is a homebrew version. I do not have a chance to see what's underneath the white cover of the professionally made one, as forcing the cover off will most likely damage the fragile elements of the antenna. And you don't want to do that to a $75 crosshair. But why is it so expensive? Well, because unlike the 6 dB circular patch, the crosshair has to be handmade and each one is pure, painstaking hard work to put together. The elements are so tiny, if you notice, and so the measurements have a tight room for errors. Okay, enough of talking. Now let's test the two crosshairs with the FPV combo. Now we are at 400 meters away from the video transmitter and using a crosshair, crosshair antenna. Transmitter is 200 milliwatt. Getting an image, but this is the max. As you can see, if I move the antenna around, the image quality drops. This is as far as I can get. crosshair. This is with the professionally tuned crosshair antenna from True RC. So if I move the antenna, turn it by the beat, yeah, the video drops. I would say the performance of the two antennas are very similar. With the one from True RC, slightly better. Just to give you an idea of how far we were just now on the transmitter. The transmitter is at the white platform in the middle of the video. And I was standing in the middle of this stretch just now. So it's 200 meters here and another 200 meters there. And that gives us a range test of 400 meters. This is the 200 meter mark. The video is very, very sharp. This is where the 200 milliwatt transmitter is planted. And that's the bridge I was standing. 
Pogoda. Thank you.